And I haven't found anything yet, obviously. <laughs> I don't see him. A little bummed. Hey, it's me, V, and welcome back to my channel. <sighs> I had, yet again, no other, like, really good video ideas. I have a vlog that's just sitting in my iMovie theater, but I don't know if I want to upload it this week. I might, who knows, if this video does go up later then. <laughs> but, anyways. Obviously, I'm doing a food mukbang, eh? I wanted to do one because I love Trisha Paytas and I love Carly and Aaron and I literally love everybody else who does mukbangs. And I just wanted to do one by myself and do a little, like, um, story time, kind of. But I'm going to eat first because I'm hungry. Oh yeah, and I made spaghetti. I think that's a recurring theme on this channel that I love spaghetti, but I really do. Really so good. Anyways, I wanted to talk about the time I got ghosted on Tinder. Also, by the way, I'm like 19 years old. Not underaged, I'm 19 years old. But when I got ghosted, I was 18. So it's like a year ago. I don't know if I should say his name if he still like keeps up with me, but let's just call him Jay. Um, Jay and I matched in October of 2017. We hit it off pretty well. He was really sweet and he was really cute and he was like hella tall. So I was like, yes, please. And this is the time I was like, I just got dumped by an ex. I was feeling hella like gross um so that's why i got on tinder because i was like somebody might like me here's how it went down so he and i try to make plans to like meet each other and go on a date and i still don't know how to drive and i didn't know how to drive then obby so it was kind of like based off him coming and picking me up and going somewhere where all my friends were so I wasn't like left alone with this stranger I met online. This was like in December, early January. Yeah, cause we were doing our UIM one act play. And so I, obvi obviously we live in Texas. So when it snows, it snows hella bad here for like two days. Actually ended up being like, hey, I don't know if I can go. Cause like it's dark out already. Cause the sun goes down really early that during that time of year so i was like kind of chickening out but also like i really still want to see him he ended up telling me that his mom said he couldn't go because the roads were too bad by where he lived kind of disappointing and then after that he was like i'll make it up to you we'll we'll meet up we'll do this blah 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 i'll come see your show it's free. It's at a high school. You only have to come and spend like 40, less than 40 minutes there. You can come say hi to me after, like whatever, right? And like this whole time, he and I are constantly texting. I don't know if, still, if Snapchat still does this, but like, you know how you can Snapchat video call? We did that like twice. We never talked on the phone really because like, who talks on the phone anymore, right? For some random reason, he like stops kind of like texting me a lot. And then he comes out and he's like, hey, sorry, I got really busy. Uh, job is like taking over my life, whatever. I'm like, whatever, that's cool. And so it comes up to like the week of this performance. I think it was Zone. Zone for UIL one act play. If you don't know what that means, I don't want to explain it to you because you could just look it up. And he's like, oh, okay, cool. I'll try to make it, maybe. And I was like, okay, a maybe is not a yes or no. It's a maybe. But I was really betting on him coming. And my entire department knew about this kid because he accidentally got added into one of our theater group chats. Everybody was like, oh my god, it's your Tinder boy, and whatever, like, blew up into this, like, huge thing, because theater kids are weird. And so, I was like, okay. So, everybody's kind of, like, riding on meeting this kid, because he's, like, a big deal, for the most part, in our department. 
like for real I'm meeting everybody and like kind of became a little bit in our group just a wee bit it was weird but then that whole day went by I finally go on stage and I'm like I'm still in character but also at the same time like I have eyes and I can still see into the audience and I'm kind of like sort of searching for him I don't see him a little bummed so I thought okay maybe he just got here late and they closed the doors on him and he couldn't come in and see the show. So I texted him and I was like, hey, are you here? After like we go back to our room and everything. And no reply. He just, I think he took off his like uh, receipts, like the thing that says like seen at whatever. I think he turned those off. Cause our older text messages said like seen at 7 30 p.m right this one just said delivered it's like okay i guess he feels bad for not like showing up i don't blame him i mean it was high school it's very high school i'm out of high school now so i kind of understand what he was like what he might have been feeling but like i never got an explanation so i kind of shot him a text the next day like hey I know you didn't make it I don't know why you didn't but it's fine if you like you could have just told me you couldn't make it and whatever and immediately he texts me back he's like oh I know I'm sorry I just I don't know if I could if I could actually face you blah 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 Whoa! oh and it was really annoying having him say that like all the freaking time but at the same time, I was, I was really into this guy. I really did like him. Like this is the first time I ever liked somebody outside of my school. No, my crap. Didn't know about my horrible ex-boyfriend. Like literally every other boy in high school that knew me. This guy, he just knew me as a girl he met on Tinder. So when he didn't reply to me the next day, I kind of was like, okay, that's weird. And I get a little frustrated because I Snapchat him and I'm like, hey, why aren't you talking to me? What's up? And if you don't want to like talk anymore, that's cool. Just tell me I'm like I'm the kind of person that you have to be straight up with because I don't get the hint immediately. I kind of just like get my friend to ask him because they're bros. They like hit it off really well, too. So I asked my friend to be like, hey, can you ask Jay what's up? Like, why isn't he talking to me? Like, what's up? So my friend asks him and he tells him like, he feels really bad about not showing up to my performance and he just doesn't know how to like, talk to me anymore. And I'm like, okay, you didn't come to one performance. Like, you said maybe, and I really appreciated if he had said like, an hour before the show or even like the day of hey i'm not going to be able to make it something came up break a leg or something just something you know not just like radio silence eventually he and i get to talking again it's sort of back to normal i'm chilling whatever another week goes by Nothing. Radio silence again. This time, he's out of the group chat. I don't know if he's still talking to my friend. Whatever. I still see him like posting on his Snapchat. So I'm like, I know you're alive. I know you didn't just like fall off the face of the earth. What's up, dude? Like, straight up, be for real with me. Tell me that you don't like me anymore or that you don't want to talk to me anymore and just, like, don't leave me hanging. Delivered. I was so... It's so annoying. It's not that I, like, caught hella feelings for him, but it was like, okay... It was something new for me. 
it was something different and something I wasn't used to, but I liked it. I was like, screw me, right? So, a couple months go by. A lot of my friends are like, hey, what's up? Do you still talk to Jay? Are you and Jay still like talking? Or are you and Jay a thing now? And you know how embarrassing it is as like a high schooler to tell your friends somebody that they knew and they talked to and shared a laugh with and made into like a meme ghosted you? Like that was so embarrassing for me. It just like really frustrates me because I hate people that do that. I don't know where he is now. He was friends with me on Facebook for a little while when we were talking. And then I think he unfriended me after he like ghosted me. So eh. please, boys, if you're watching this and you are losing interest in a girl or guy or whoever, do not ghost them. I'm just mad. And that was how I got ghosted on Tinder. Fun, right? I hope you guys like this. I like doing mukbangs. I love eating. That's weird. But that's all I have for you guys this week. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Sorry if I look like dead. I was like literally dancing around to music while I was making this food. Thank you, Almighty Papa! Thank you, Almighty Papa! <laughs>